Okay, here's our next order of business. So I'm solving equations and now there's variables on opposite sides. So I've got 3 times x plus 2 equals negative 2 times x minus 8. Just like the other one, we need to know where our equals is at. We need to make sure both x's have numbers in front. That's got a 3, that's got a negative 2. And then we need to fix any subtractions we might have. So that minus 8 is a negative 8. Just remember that. Okay. Okay, so remember our steps. I've got parentheses. I've got like terms. I've got outside. And I've got inside. Well, there are no parentheses. Now, your like terms is when I box up and look at the x's. And there's a problem. They're on different sides of the equals. Here's my equals. They're on different sides. So you cannot just take 3 plus negative 2 like you could on the, uh, when they're on the same side. Again, here's my equals. They're on opposite sides. What we need to do about our like terms is balance. Okay? And that means what we need to do is pick an x. You can pick either one and get rid of it by either adding it or subtracting it. I'm going to pick the negative 2x. I'm just going to go with the 1 over here. So it's a negative, so I add it. That cancels. Now go to the other side. Where else? Where would you be able to add 2x? underneath the x, okay? So I drop the equals. 3 plus 2 is 5x. We have our plus 2. And over here we have our negative 8. Okay, now the like terms have been balanced. Okay, so outside. Outside the 5x, we have a 2. So I'm going to subtract 2. Remember, that doesn't count. That's not with the x. So minus 2. That cancels. And then minus 2 on the other side. So I have 5x. Negative 8 minus 2. I'm going to show you how easy that is punch in the calculator. It's not 6 negative 10. Now inside we got the 5. Today we always be dividing. So underline and divide. So we got x. Negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. Use the calculator. Next problem. 15x plus 22 equals negative 7x plus 18. Here's my equals. I make sure the x has numbers in front, so 15x and negative 7x, we're good. And any minuses are plus negative. I don't have any minuses, so that's not, that's okay. So parentheses like terms. Then we go outside and inside. There are no parentheses like terms. Okay, we have like terms but they're on opposite sides. Okay, so we have to perform a balancing act. Let's pick the x over here, it's negative, and let's just get rid of that. So we add 7x, that gets rid of it, and add 7x. By the way, the like terms, you don't ever divide. Drop your equals. 15x plus 7x is 22x. Then I have a plus 22, and then I've got an 18. So the LT balancing has been done, like terms balancing, now outside. I've got a plus 22, so we need to minus 22.
Okay, so we got 22x. 18 minus 22 is negative 4. Then I divide by 22. You're always going to be dividing. It'll always be in front today. So negative 4 divided by 22 is uh, negative 0 0.18 repeating. There we go. Okay, next one. Negative x minus 11 equals 2x plus 4. First, there's the equals. Next, that would need a 1. Next, that would need a plus negative. Okay. All right, now, parentheses if we have them. Like terms, we're going to have to deal with those if there's more than one x. Outside and inside. All right, the parentheses, we have none. The like terms, we have negative 1x and 2x. They're on opposite sides, so we need to balance. So let's take the positive 2x and minus that. It's positive, that's why I'm going to minus it. Gets rid of that. Now go over here and do the same thing. So here's my equals. So negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3x. Plus the negative 11. And then 4. Okay. Outside the negative 3x, we have a negative 11. So I need to add... 11. So I get 15 and negative 3x. And then our final step is always going to be to divide by that number that's multiplying the x. That's multiplied by the x. Negative 3 times x equals 15, so we divide x, negative 5. Okay, my next problem is going to be kind of a weird one. Here's my equals. Question. Both x's have a number in front. And um, there's no minuses. Okay. So parentheses, like terms, outside, inside. There is none. Like terms. Again, they're on opposite sides, so we need to perform a balancing. That means I add or subtract the x's to both sides. So let's take that positive 3x. I'm going to minus that. But the funny thing is, 3x minus 3x is also 0, so you can cancel that. What I have here is 7 equals 14. When the letters both, when I X out both sets of letters, it's going to be an all solution or a no solution. Okay, all solution, no solution. 7 is not equal to 14. That's not true. They're obviously not equal. So it's a no solution. So there's no number that's going to make that equation work. Okay, next page. Negative 2, and then parentheses 2x minus 4 equals negative 4, parentheses uh, negative x plus 2. Okay, so here's my equals. That has a 2 as a coefficient, that has a 1 as a coefficient. Okay, nice. Do I have any minus signs? Yeah, the 4 is a negative 4. And that's it. That's a negative because it's the first thing on that side of the equation. That's a negative because it's the first thing on that side of the equation. And that's a negative because it's the first thing in the parentheses. Okay, so those are the reasons why those are already good to go. That's the only one I needed to change. Okay, so parentheses, like terms, outside, 
inside. This problem looks like it's going to be kind of irritating. Got two, these two in parentheses, so negative two is outside, so come over the top. This is outside, so come over the top. Okay. So again, I got four multiplications I need to do with the parentheses. I've got negative two times two x. I've got negative two times negative four. And then I've got negative four times negative one x. And negative four times two. Okay, and we do them two at a time. So that's going to be negative 4x, and that's going to be 8. So negative 4x plus 8 goes over here. Cross out the numbers in the parentheses and the number outside, and we find there's nothing else over there. Negative 4 times negative 1x is 4x. And negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. So 4x plus negative 8. That's a match set. Oops, sorry, that's positive. 4x plus negative 8. Okay, so the parentheses have been done. Now the like terms. And by the way, you don't have anything else over there. I need to do a balancing act. Okay, because the, light, the x's are on opposite sides, so we balance. I'm just going to get rid of the x over here. It's positive, so I'm going to subtract it. That gets rid of that. Subtract it. Negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8x. And then we have the 8. And over here we have the negative 8. It's easy to lose track of negatives when you're doing these. Like terms. Now outside the x, we have this 8. Don't touch that one that's on the other side. So minus 8, minus 8. So we got negative 8x. Negative 8 minus 8 is negative 16. Use a calculator if you're not sure. Then last thing we do is divide by that number in front of the x. So I've got x, and that's 2. So for the parentheses, I had to do four multiplications. Okay. Then I had to balance, minus, minus. Then I had to get rid of the number outside, and then I had to divide. Okay, so the next one, 0.5x plus 0 0.25, parentheses x plus 16, equals 4 plus 0 0.75x. Okay, so that x has 0 0.5. That x needs a 1. That has 0 0.75. Here's my equals 2, by the way. There are no minuses. So the parentheses step, the like term step, the outside and the inside. Okay, so the parentheses step. Got them. So I need to come up top here. So 0 0.25 times 1x and 0 0.25 times 16. Don't worry about anything else. So it's going to be 0 0.25x. 0 0.25 times 16 is 4. 0.25x plus 4, and that is happening over here. So give yourself some room. Then I take these two and that, cross it off. We also have 0.5x. Okay, and then over here we don't have a parentheses. We've got 4 plus 0.75x. Okay. Now like terms. Hmm got x, I've got x, and I've got x. Hmm. Well, some of them are on the same side together, and some of them are on opposite sides, okay? So what we need to do is add the two that are on the same side right now. Don't balance those two. They're on the same side. I take 0.25x plus um, 
0.5x. You're adding those. That's 0.75x. Okay. So I added those. I got 0.75x. I also have a 4 on that. Notice how I got to keep track of my equals. Okay. And then over here is still 4 plus 0.75x. Now it's time to balance. Okay because now they're on opposite sides. So I'm minus 0.75x, that's 0. But if I minus 0.75x, that's also 0. So both those cross out. Now this becomes an all solution or no solution. Now this time I ended up with 4 equals 4. That's true. So that's all solutions. That means any number makes the equation work. Okay, no matter what x is. Okay, I want these two are definitely not fun. Okay, now next one. Here's my equals. Um, do I have any um, numbers that? Nope, that's got three x. That's got five x. I don't have any minuses. That's a negative. Okay, so first is the parentheses. Okay, need to go take care of that. Well, I got two of them. This would have a 1, and then I come over the top. And this 2, I come over the top. So negative 1 times 5x, negative 1 times 6. 2 times 3x, and 2 times 8. So this is negative 5x, and this is negative 6. This is 6x and this is 16. Now remember these go together, those do and those two. So 5x plus negative 6, negative 5x plus negative 6 on that side. Then over on the other side is 6x and 16. And by the way cross that out, nothing else over there. 6x plus 16. Okay, now the like term step. I have two x terms, but again, they're on opposite sides, so I need to balance. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take that 6x and move it by subtracting it. It goes away there, and then I need to subtract it from the negative 5x. Negative 5 minus 6, here's how easy that is to punch into your calculator. Negative 11x. plus negative 6, and that's 16, okay? Now, outside, we have the negative 6, so we add that. Negative 11x, and 22. Okay, then at the last, we divide. So I have x, 22 divided by negative 11 is negative 2. Okay, 3x minus 6 plus 2x equals negative 2 plus x. Okay, um, as you can see, here's the equals. That's got a 3, that's got a 2, that would need a 1, so it has a coefficient. Okay, any minuses? Yeah, this is 6, so that's a negative 6, don't forget that. Okay, so parentheses, I don't have any. Like terms, yeah, I've got 3x and 2x, okay, and 1x. Okay, so when there's 3, there's always 2 you can just add because they're on the same side. So 3 plus 2, 3x plus 2x equals 5x. So over here we're going to have 5x. We also have a negative 6. And over here we've got negative 2 plus 1x. Okay. Now we're not done with the like terms because as long as I have more than 1x term, I'm not done with that. Okay. Now I need to take those and balance. Okay. So that 1x I take away by subtracting. Five x minus one x is four x plus negative 6, 
and then negative 2. Okay. Then outside we got a negative 6, so I need to add 6, add 6, that goes away. I have 4x, negative 2 plus 6 is 4. Okay. Finally, it's time to divide. That is always the last step with these problems, and x equals 1. Okay, now, not real fun. Um, yeah, okay, if you need any help, let me know.